What is going on, friends? It's Rob with R. Pelton. Scratch that. It's Rob Pelton here, coming to you with another, I just changed my channel name, so this is really weird. Rob Pelton here, thanks for tuning in to the video. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, this channel, I do usually a lot of uh, backpacking videos, camping videos, some travel stuff, hammock camping, and a lot of gear reviews. So if you're into that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe right down there. That way you don't miss any of the videos that drop from here on out. Now, this video is an ask me anything, a question and answer video, because my channel, Rob Pelton, just surpassed the 3,000 subscriber mark. That's amazing. So to those of you who have subscribed to me up to this point, thank you. That's Thank you. I appreciate it. Also, uh, apologies for the tardiness of this video. This was supposed to publish like two weeks ago. So Christmas has already went by. So Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. If you're celebrating any holiday right now, happy fill in the blank. And I, I got this new microphone. I don't know if it works well or not. I already shot this video once and the audio was completely unusable and, and I, so I just haven't gotten around to reshoot it because I already did it once and now I'm back and now I got a microphone and it's, it's a thing. Well, let's go ahead and push record. Let's go ahead and just dive right into the questions. I printed them out so it's going to be a little distracting and I apologize but it is what it is, right? Mark goes hiking. Mark, what's up? I know we've conversed over the social medias. Congrats over 3K. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. What trail or section of trail are you perfectly fine with hiking over and over again and why? That's, that's a great question. Being in Minnesota, the Superior Hiking Trail. It's a three to five hour drive depending on what section and it's the, it's the go-to premier trail of Minnesota. It's so diverse. And amazing it's hard not to just go there over and over there are particular sections of the trail that I really really love I'm not going to share those because I don't want 4,000 people to be there or in this case maybe 3,000 people to be there Toby Myers Toby what's happening just found your channel this week while researching the Warbonnet Ridge Runner hammocks I'm a big Warbonnet Ridge Runner guy and I want to let you know that I've watched a number of your videos and I've really really enjoyed them all thank you you have a great channel, I gladly subscribed. Again, thank you. My question is, I weigh between 230 and 240 pounds, and the Ridge Runner is rated to 250 pounds. So do you think that I would be okay with the Ridge Runner in that 40D Dream Text material? It's their, it's their heavier, newer material. Uh, or do you think that's pushing it too closely? Thanks and congratulations on the 3000. Um, thank you, I appreciate it. The Warbonnet Ridge Runner, the double layer is rated at 250 pounds and yeah, you're right on that border. Now that is a, a, a comfort rating. The material can handle much more than that. I mean, you're not gonna wanna use the hammock as a swing, right? Um, I think you'll be okay. Obviously the goal is, is to try to stay towards that 230 mark, more so than the 240 mark. Easier said than done, I get it. But as long as you're getting in and out of the hammock carefully and not just jumping into it, I think you should be fine. Now obviously, I'm not an expert at this and I'm not claiming that you won't have a failure rate. So user discretion is advised. But for me, I would, I'd pull the trigger. Swag on the trail. Um, I'm asking when we're gonna hit Mount Josephine. John, bring it, bring it. J3 hikes, congrats. No question, but thank you. North Texas hiker. I imagine you're in North Texas. You make really good and personable videos. Oh, I think I've watched all of them. Wow. You also go on trails uh, that are shorter, like the Eagle Rock Loop, that's down in Arkansas, and ones that I might be able to hike. So don't change your style, and you'll probably get over 10,000 subs soon. Well, North Texas Hiker, thank you very much. You're right, a vast majority of people don't through hike 2,000 miles, 3,000 mile trails. They're, they're going off and they're, they're hiking anywhere from three to five, you know, to even 50 mile trails. A lot shorter it's a lot more realistic especially with you know everyone's schedules and business and family and work and everything like that so thank you very much keep exploring those smaller trails because those are gems those are diamonds in the rough for sure Miyagi on the trail me and Miyagi that guy we're like this we're both twisted that's that's what that means Miyagi asks almost had of some of this all-in-one jelly and peanut butter packets okay all right so Midwest Backpacker loves these squeeze tubes of peanut butter and jelly, and it's disgusting. I don't know why it's disgusting. I'm sure it's delicious. 
just I just looked over one day and he was just squirting this into his mouth and it just just made me nauseous and I just I can't I can't I can't I can't I can't uh, they seemed pretty convenient however I really enjoyed the taste of her jam over jelly just wondering what's the difference between jam and jelly Jelly is usually made with fruit juices and is a little bit more transparent in nature. Jam has bits of fruit flesh in, in it and it has a less, more of an opaque uh, coloring. So jam, fruit bits, jelly, mainly juices. Mick Lost in the Woods. Mick Lost, what's up? He asks, what happened to my hang time quilts? I still have my hang time quilts. I ordered a, a custom 20 degree top quilt. I just find myself using my, my hammock gear ones more. I have a, a 10 degree and I have a, a, a 30 degree and a 40 degree. I just, I just use those more. They just seem to fit uh, that 20 degree line. I just, just haven't had a chance to, to, to use it. So I just have my go-tos and I just haven't gone to that one recently. That's all. There's nothing wrong with it. I just, just haven't used it. SA the first or SA the first, SA the first. Always enjoy your vids and your interaction with everyone. What is your go-to hiking destination? And give us a bucket list hiking destination. Go-to, I mentioned it before, was Superior Hiking Trail. Bucket list. Um, I spent a lot of time in the Himalayas. I'd like to get up to the Everest Base Camp eventually. Uh, I want to hit up Scotland, do the West Highland Way. I'd love to do some of the, the uh, Camino, El Camino Santiago in, in Spain. There's a lot of those international trips, but um, I'd love to do some sections of the AT. I want to get out. Um, uh, up in the Pacific Northwest, Wonderland Trail. There, there's there's a lot of trails locally in the U.S. that I want to hit up, and the list just keeps it just keeps getting longer and longer and longer. And eventually, before I die, I might hit one or two more of them. Michael Berger, Mike, what's up? What is one item you wish you would have bought sooner? That's a great question. Trekking poles. I fought and fought. Uh, against using these for the longest time because when I'm hiking I'm always filming I got tripods and all this kind of stuff and it was hard for me to coordinate using the, these with a tripod um, but I ended up buying a pair on Midwest Backpackers recommendation and they really do help especially on inclines even declines uh, and it actually can help you speed up on flat ground as well because you can uh, have a, a, a longer uh, stride um, these have been amazing. These particular ones are made by Cascade Mountain Tech. They're like an Amazon. They're, they're fantastic. They're like 80 bucks and they're, they're awesome. Trekking poles. Wish I would have bought these way, way sooner. Dirt bag outside. What's up, dirt bag? And then also a Mark Cummings. They kind of uh, comment on the same question. How did you go about planning the Grand Canyon trip? For those of you who don't know, I just recently backpacked the Grand Canyon. I went from one room to the other room and then back to the original room, so I hiked it like twice. Um, so how did I plan it? I know it's a lot to explain in one shot, but I'd love to pick your brain about how, uh, how day one of the trip went, basically the planning of it. The way I planned for the Grand Canyon basically is I had a Miyagi on the trail. Miyagi handled pretty much everything from the application process. I mean, they, had, they even had, he even had to submit a hiking resumes for us to make sure we can handle the itinerary. But there, are, there's a video that explains a lot of that stuff. Miyagi's trip video is right up here. And I'll also link it down in the description and also an episode of Chewing the Fat, which is kind of like a podcast style uh, thing that we do. And we go over a lot of trip planning as well. I'll leave the links of those two videos down below if, if you want to get more specifics. But Miyagi, he, he pretty much did everything. And I just, I just came along for personality and charm and Easy pranks, haha. -ha. <laughs> Question, when you're solo camping, how do you not get scared in the woods? It is very easy to get scared in the woods because you're out there, you're, you're usually out in the middle of nowhere, miles from anything uh, alone, it's quiet, there's, there's critters and creatures and stuff walking around, especially at night when you're sleeping, all the sounds of the woods and all the sounds of the nighttime nature, you're not used to hearing. And your brain does a really good job at creating monsters and bears and coyotes and wolves and Bigfoots and all this kind of stuff. None of those things are out there. They're usually mice, raccoons, these little things scurrying about. The one big thing for me when, when, when camping solo, just, just know it's, it's about mindset. You are the most dangerous thing in those woods. You have the ability to destroy it all. 
on a whim. You really, really do. And the, the chances of you having an encounter with a bear or something larger is so remote, it's almost laughable to think about. So just know you're the badass out there, period. Maddie Outdoors. Oh, Maddie, dude, I, border needs to open. We need to chill. We need to walk up and down hills and mountains. We just, we need, we need to do that, all right? Huge congrats, Rob. Maddie, thanks, brother. Do you have any favorite backpacking meals? Uh, yeah, dehydrated meals. Love Mountain House Chili Mac. I even got a video on how I spice it up to make it better, to, to really max out your Chili Mac. I'll leave that video right up there as well. Um, and then I've recently been finding these meat and cheese packets at the grocery store, and um, I, I pack those, throw them in a tortilla. Those things work great. Meat and cheese and a tortilla, super simple, great for lunches. And, uh, there's, and there's just so much, there's so much backpacking food, it's crazy. Arkansas Outdoors Channel, what's up? Are you planning on hitting the Ozark Highlands Trail again? Yes, there's actually a trip leaving in a few days here. And I was supposed to go on it, I just, it's just too soon uh, with Christmas and everything in my work. I, just, I cannot get away during the month of December at all. Um, if they planned it for another week, like in, in January, I could have went, but um, I, I got some friends going down and I just, I just won't be able to make it this year, uh, maybe later, I, I don't know. But it's definitely on the list. I gotta finish the OHT for sure. Drop time full, drop time full, drop time full. Congrats on the milestone, thank you. Whoa, how does Jeremy put up with you? Jeremy loves me. Chuck Wagon, what's up? Just, I hike with Chuck, you know, quite often. We just did the Grand Canyon together. What's up, Chucker? Uh, when did you first start doing the Krusty Lap? Who gave you that name? The Midwest backpacker, Jeremy. One of the first times we ever went backpacking together, we were doing something and I did the Krusty Lap. Krusty from The Simpsons. And, and that's where the trail name came from. Now, in his videos, I do the Krusty Lap. On my videos, I don't do the Krusty Lap. I'm not doing the Krusty Lap. Journey on the trail asks, well, congrats on the 3K, thank you. Can you share any big trip plans plans for 2021? There are some bigger uh, trip plans coming up. Uh, one of them was gonna be to the OHT here, but it was, like I said, it was just too soon. But in 2021, I'm hoping to hit Peru. I'm hoping to hit uh, a trail in the Pacific Northwest. Um, don't know the, the, the dates or time for those yet. And I need to get down to the Smokies. And I need to get down to like the Red River Gorge, like Kentucky boys, if you're watching this, we need to, we need to do stuff, we need to do things. Midwest Outdoors. Congrats, Rob, love the channel. Any new gear you're considering for next year? Yes, yes, yes. Some of the, thing, some of the things I kind of already got, but one of them is new shoes, I got new shoes coming. This is new pants, this is a new jacket, this is another new jacket. And there's always more stuff coming along. What are those? I'm not going to tell you right now. Lily Mac asks, well, first, congrats on 3K. I've always enjoyed your videos. My question is, when did you start hiking and backpacking? And what were your first trips? Were they solo or with others? Um, I've always been camping and I've always done some hiking. But as far as backpacking went, I didn't start backpacking until I got back from Nepal in 2014. So about 2015, I started to backpack. Uh, and a lot of it was solo. And then I met up with some groups and I got into hammocks and then it just kind of went from there. So most of my trips are with people. I take some solo. There are pluses and minuses to both, uh, but there are times when sometimes I just want to do, just hang out my, by myself and just kind of do my own thing. 43, nine outdoors. Top three favorite Minnesota state parks. Wow, that's a good question. Ashton, of course, because it's very, very close. Uh, really love... Oh, well, there's so many along the North Shore that are, that are absolutely amazing, like Tedaguch and Gooseberry and Split Rock, and uh, uh, man, they're just they're so they're so good. How can you just name three? That's just they're so good. They're so good. Wending the world. Congratulations on the 3K milestone. Thank you. Well deserved for great content, and thank you for Nova. Thank you from Nova Scotia, Canada. Thanks, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, and Wending the world. That's like an international audience. I'm like a big deal all of a sudden. All the way up to. Nova Scotia. Adventures with Beckett and Zena. Speaking of northern border, what's up, Beckett? Hope you and Zena are doing well, and I look forward to, to hiking with you eventually here pretty soon. Um, congrats, Rob. What's your most memorable moment on trail, and what was the worst moment on trail? Thanks, Rob. This is a big deal. My best and worst moment on trail. This goes back to when I was in Nepal. Yeah, I talk about Nepal, but I was there for like three months. 
Um, I went to Nepal because I was kind of going through this life thing, right? I just, you know, I wanted to find meaning and all this kind of crap, so I decided to go hike in the mountains. Anyways, there was a point where I was climbing a mountain for the 10th hour and I'm exhausted, I'm tired. Um, I was actually by myself in a section for uh, for quite a while. I had a guide way behind me and a guide way in front of me with, with like a group. There, we were kind of spread across the trail. And when you're hiking and trudging, you're just left with your thoughts and your emotions and that could be good and bad, right? And for me, it was both. And this was the best and mo worst moment on the trail at the same time. I got to a point where I was so exhausted and I was so into my own head and emotions and all this stuff, I broke down. I got exhausted and I broke down um, because of all the things, like all the woulda, shoulda, couldas, right? Kind of got to me. Um, and at that moment, I'm crying, I'm sitting there putting my hand on a mountain, looking down the ravine, you know, death is that way, you know, anyways. And I look up and I see the mountain in front of me. And the mountain's not just, oh, hey, it's a mountain. No, it's like the mountain, it's, it's gigantic. Like it's unfathomable, fathomable, unfathomable. It's crazy how big the mountain was. And at that moment, I felt this big. And it really taught me that as, as big as I think my problems and, and issues are, in the overall scheme of things of the world, the universe, they're really, they're really not that big. They're only big because I'm making them big. So that was a turning point for me. And then from then on, I've been pretty awesome. That's it, man. That's it. Too much? Senior Hiker 77, what's up, Senior Hiker? Congrats on the 3,000 subs. Thank you very much. I, mu I know how it must feel. Uh, I'm nearing that figure too, and it makes me excited. Uh, happy for you. Senior Hiker, you're coming up on that 3,000 mark. It's, it's crazy, right? There's 3,000 people that sub to our channel to watch us do stuff. It's crazy. So congrats to you as well. Mike Ghost, what's up, Mike? I know we've conversed back and forth as well. Congrats. Uh, great job, boss man. Any question I have, I'll just ask you in person someday. No, really, in person. Am I supposed to get a creepy vibe from that, Mike? <laughs> Oh, Mike says, oh, no, I do have a question. Um, how long have you and almost been a thing? Asking for almost is Midwest Backpacker, a.k.a. Jeremy. Yeah, we go on a lot of trips together and we give each other a lot of crap. Yeah, me and Jeremy, we do stuff. Not that kind of stuff. <laughs> Justin Anderson, what's up? Absolutely flabbergasted that you're only at 3K. Well, thank you. Uh, you're my favorite YouTuber. By far my favorite YouTuber. Uh um, your, your content and personality is what sets your channel apart from the others. Dude, that, that's awesome. I, I, I appreciate that. Doesn't hurt that I'm a fellow Minnesotan. Yeah, you know what's up. What locations other than the Superior Hiking Trail, Boundary Waters Canoe Area, and Afton State Park do you recommend backpacking in Minnesota? Short or long mileage? What's my ideal distance per day? Obviously, those three locations are huge, but you got the North Country Trail. You got, like in the cities, Nine Mile Creek. There's uh, the Zumbro River bottoms, there's a Minnesota River, there's trails all over. Uh, and obviously, state parks have tons of trails everywhere. So if you're looking for a bigger trail that's not those, head up to the North Country Trail. It's awesome. Plus, you can dip into Wisconsin, have a, a beer or something. Uh, and what is my ideal mileage per day? My ideal mileage is 10 to 12. If I want to push, I can do 15, but like comfortably 10 miles, 12 miles. That way, I have plenty of time at camp to enjoy myself and relax and, and just tinker around with things. Uh, anything more than that, it cups my camp time short, and I don't necessarily like that. Um, 10, 12 miles, I, that's what I prefer. Doesn't always happen, that's what I prefer. Cheryl S. Hey Cheryl, thanks for tuning in, appreciate it. Uh, how has being a hiking YouTuber enhanced your hiking life? Um, it's, it's helped me slow down and look at things a little bit differently. Instead of just blazing through terrain in, in different areas, I stop and look. Yeah, a lot of it's for a camera shot or an angle, but it really makes me look at things and stop, you know, and, and just appreciate it a little bit more. But more importantly, I like the fact that I'll be able to, to go back to these videos when I'm 85 years old and look at all the really cool stuff that I've done. Um, look back and see how awesome I used to be. So, um, you know, that and just meeting a lot of people. I, I, met, I have some really good friends I met through hiking. Um, it's just, it's amazing and it keeps me active and there's, all kinds of good stuff about being a YouTuber, um, that and get to film everything. Um, she also asked, uh, which hiking YouTubers do you enjoy? And also what's my favorite book or movie? 
Um, other YouTubers, I mean, I don't always watch hiking YouTubers. I mean, I, 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 I'm all over the place as far as content goes. Um, it's, uh, that's too many. It's too many. Because if I mention one and I don't mention another, he'll be happy. He won't. It's a, it's a thing. It's a, it's a thing. What's my favorite book or movie? Um, movies, I'll give you three of them. Um, the Big Lebowski. Chef. Uh, with John Turturro, John Leguizamo, not John Turturro, John Favreau, where he's a chef and he gets a cooking truck, and it's an awesome movie, Dustin Hoffman. Um, Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Love it. Love it. And the only way you can remake The Princess Bride is either with Muppets or if Mel Brooks did it. That's it. Books. Here's a couple of books that have been some of my favorites. Um, the Alchemist. These are short reads by uh, Paolo uh, Coelho, it's, um, j just check it out. It's, it's a really good book, and like I said, it's a short read. The Timekeeper, just you know, teaches you the value of time. You know, it's just short, it, these are little short reads. And then right now, I'm reading The Evolution of Everything. This is not an easy read, but it's very interesting. Coming into the last few questions, uh, again, if you're watching this, thank you very much. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe right down there because there's a lot more content, a lot of outdoor content coming for 2021, and I'm really excited about it. And I just, I, the fact that I'm making a 3,000 sub video is, is amazing. Back to the show. Michael Shireman, 3K subs, yay! Woo. I always enjoy your videos, but I gotta know, after watching you after all these years, is the dangle of the angle directly proportionate to the heat of the beat? Let me read that again. Is the angle of the dangle directly proportionate to the heat of the beat? Yes? No? Whatever answer is the good one. If yes is good, then it's yes. If no is good, then it's a no. Midwest Backpacker, speaking of Jeremy, speaking of almost Midwest Backpacker. Midwest Backpacker. Congrats on 3K. Thank you. I appreciate it. When are you going to change your channel name from R Pelton one to Rob Pelton? I already did it. My logo still says R Pelton one My Instagram is still R Pelton one But now to search, just type in Rob Pelton and it comes up and you get to see my mug do things. Matt Johnson. Why are so many backpackers obsessed by doing big mileage? Why not hang out and enjoy the spot for a while? You're right, you're right. There's so many people, they just wanna crush miles, crush miles, crush miles. I happen to hike with people who can crush miles, and sometimes it's annoying. There are times where I would like to slow down and smell the roses, so to speak. Um, but a lot of times, if I'm traveling, we have an itinerary, and we have to we have to you know uh, set certain goals and distances. Um, but you're right; I would like to slow it down just a little bit more. But a lot of it really is timing. Last question from Hiking View. This is nice to do. Thank you. What trail, uh, what trail runner works best for you? Well, I, I have a couple of videos on that on different footwear, but recently over the last couple of years, it's been the ultra running line. A couple of years ago, I ended up buying the ultra Lone Peak fours. And th these have been amazing. The drainage, the support, uh, the big wide foot box. Um, it, it's been an absolute phenomenal shoe. I mean, you can see I started to blow it out on the side and they're just, they're just wore out, right? So when these wore out, I ended up going with the Ultra Temp. These are the Temp 2s and these are a really good shoe as well. They're a little bit different from the Lone Peaks. They have more cushion, which I really liked, less drainage, which I didn't like, um, but these are starting to wear out as well. So for 2021, I think I might be going back to the Lone Peak, but they'll be the Lone Peak 5s because there's some upgrades and stuff that I've been looking forward to. So yeah, ultras, check them out, try them on, hit the trail. If you have big wide feet like I do, you'll, you'll probably like it. That's it, those are the questions to everyone who has submitted them, thank you so much, I appreciate it. I don't think I left any questions out, there's like 30 or something, but I appreciate you hanging in there and then listening to me answer all these questions. But like I said, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so that way, Go ahead and subscribe, that way you don't miss a video that drops. But get outside, enjoy this big beautiful world. There's a lot of world, a lot of trail to see. But until next time, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy 2021.
you're not going to believe this. The whole I, I didn't plug in my microphone. So this has been absolutely worthless the whole time. And I just filmed the video for the second time. Oh my God. It's supposed, it's supposed to sound like this. Hey, what's cracking friends? What's happening? It's supposed to sound like this, but instead it sounds like what you just watched. I'm not redoing it again. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it.